somebody on the sidelines, please. That's a great ball. You got to trust. Remember we talked about this? Hold on, freeze. Take a breather. Remember we talked about this last night. If you know that somebody's going to go on the line and take somebody on, you have to make your run. You know that Z's going to take people on. You know that Miet's going to try to take people on on the outside. we got to make that run near, far, trailer. So Harley, you got to bust your butt to get up there. I know it's hard, but it looks like we're getting tired legs now, so we got to push ourselves. If your lungs are bothering you, that's a different story. You can come off and sub. Okay, we're making subs here. All right, play. Hey, Jerry. Jerry, come on, come on. Oh, go, go, go. Oh, 
Moana. Touch there, Maddie. Pull up a balance pillow to sit on my neck. Yeah, 
Another quarter. Trying to straighten that out on the defense there. You don't want to clear it for another quarter. Oh, let's push it for this last minute. You guys will get on the field and start warming up with little ping it. Um, and they'll, we'll give them a water break and then they'll play for about uh, 10 minutes. From now. Another corner? What are you going to do with it? Make the most of it? Come in here. Green on this line, white on this line, white to my right, green. Yeah, we're all like nine or ten. Z, Kenna. Okay, listen up, please. Captains, it is your job to wait till everyone gets on the line after each game, and then we say, you know, good job or clap, okay, but I don't want people walking up and still over there. I want everyone on the line respecting each other after each game, especially in Utah, show the respect. We can't high five and slap hands, but we can certainly lead and uh, appreciate the game, okay? So when you're ready, you guys give the applause. Okay, so for me, on that game, it was a very, very good game. Both sides had many, many opportunities, lots of play. Um, the only goal that came was from a giveaway. I talk about our targets having to hold the ball. Okay, when we don't hold the ball and it gets stripped, everyone's making a run. When the target receives the ball, everyone's making runs to get the ball and get out, and it puts us at a very vulnerable stage if we lose the ball. And that's what happened in green. You guys gave it up up right here. And if he saw if the ball went out to Miet, <coughs> who passed it? Savvy? Nye? Oh, Sa Savvy, I think, I think Nye got it, stripped it, and played it in. But it hit off two greens that just happened to be running out because they're not in position anymore. And it actually made a better pass for White for Miet to go on to it and shoot. So that's that goal comes from not holding the ball when we're supposed to hold the ball. Same thing happened over here. Uh, Maria and somebody else had a shot. We didn't hold the ball at the target spot, but your life depended on it. And we lost it, and it went back down to Green, and Green had a really good opportunity to score there. So most of our goals are coming from strips and not holding on the ball when you're supposed to hold it. So just think about that a little bit in your position. If you lose the ball, it could cost us a goal I mean, 30 seconds later. Okay, you guys are going to take a break for a little bit because you have less numbers. You guys are going to take a break and then play these guys for 40 minutes. And then you guys get to go home. And then you guys will stick around and play them for 40 minutes. Good? Pull up a balance pillow and relax and enjoy the game. Good job, ladies.